Right. Take a picture of this box. Uh huh. Normally you get five. Five to a case? Yes. Okay. In this case, we're looking for three, and one's just got two in it. That gives us 12. Trying to get that in. I can spend all day doing this with a three or so. Normally, I'd, I'll drop that right there. So. Usually what I do, I, I try to do it, this in the, the least possible steps. Mm -hmm. so I try to bend down the least times that I can possibly yeah. bend over. So I, I grab the cable all on the same trip because I don't want to bend down again. Yeah. Just, it's a long day if you, after, after keep, eight hours, yeah. you get a sore back if you keep bending down needlessly. So you'll see I, I took very little extra motion. And everything with me is don't take no for an answer. <laughs> just insist that everything cooperates. Seconds. Wait for this light. I don't see the light. I guess it's. I don't even see it. Maybe there's a light there. All right. They've, they've got this thing sitting so low. It's you see it's underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, got, I had to go back to get it up. And now I'm gonna once again not no no not take a no for an answer. Just like that. Step is to look, pull this out. And you can leave the power cable turp plugged in. These are the ones we've got to take out. Can we take this truck this out? Yep. glasses a second ago. The one, 9B again. 9B. This is 9B. Squeeze and pull it out. Yep. 
got it coiled here. That's why I didn't try yanking it the reverse <laughs> direction. And I'm going to reuse these. through the little notch. I'm gonna take a shot just of that yeah. real quick. So two RJ 45s. The one you don't use has an RJ 11 on one end. Do not use. Do not use the RJ 11. Okay. Then we'll highlight where it says Motorola. Then it's gonna say two Motorola. That goes into the scale. Two okay. Motorola. Okay. Exactly how it looks when we're done. Okay, all, perfect. All the cables attached. Uh, yeah, and after it's over, before it gets plugged right back in. Yep. Just throw the carp, the paper into that box. Plastic in there. Black to black. Red to red. sweating you're not working hard enough. <laughs> That goes to the controller okay. point of sale. Is that the 485, I guess? Or? I don't know what yeah. it is, but. And this is where the, the display is going to go. Okay. I tend to do that from below. But I don't have to. I do it by feel.
that in the table than we need. This one by feel normally, but if it don't click, you got to pull it up and then make sure it does. But it's that middle slot. I'll show you when we get it done. And it pop. Mm -hmm. So ordinarily, I'd never take this out. I'm just doing it for the picture. Sure. All right. I feed these through the hole to myself. Normally, on a regular register, I'm up here feeding around, and I can, my arms are just long enough, I can feed it to myself. And then I grab Sensormatic, the white and big cable. Okay. Those go up and down through this hole in this. I can then shove this back in here. Put it in sideways because it's it's not connected. That's the extra. This cable. is the extra cable. And then this other cable, I feed it to my hand and back. So it's the, the right height of this, and I put it in the one that I disconnected earlier, which is 9B. Pins up. Is that when I turn it on? Are you in trouble over there or what? Okay. Pop this one. So you get nothing done. But you're working. But you're working. Oh. You're shooting off right now? Sometimes there'll be a little bead here and you gotta yank that loose too. Dog practice thing. Only once in a while. Most of the time it comes clean just clean. like I did it. 